In this screencast, you're going to need your completed journal entry, Hand Anatomy Muscles. We're going to review the information again, but also collect some new information on the left side that you're going to title Screencast Info. Okay, let's get started by looking at part of the booklet that you read. Muscles are part of the muscular system. Yes, that was the answer to question number one. Muscles allow your hand to do many things, such as perform grip actions. There are large muscles, like the ones in your palm, right here, and the ones in your thumb, right here. Whenever you use these large muscles, you are performing a gross motor movement. Yes, you heard me. G-R-O-S-S, -S, gross movement. These are large movements that use large muscles. When you use your hand to grab a cup or throw a ball, large muscles are working to create these movements. However, if I scroll down a little bit, right there, you can see that there are small muscles in the fingers, right here. These small muscles help you perform fine motor movements, F-I-N-E, fine movements. For example, typing or tying your shoelaces requires the use of these small muscles to do the fine motions of your fingers. Pause this screencast and write the difference between gross and fine motor movements on the left side of your journal. Okay, question number three had you describe a movement known as thumb opposition. What did you write? Move your thumb to eye level. Now, I want you to move your thumb every which way you can. Your thumb is an amazing part of the hand because it can move across the entire palm. We also found the thumb has a good range of motion, making it a valuable digit to perform many tasks. If you didn't have your thumb, you already know which activities might be difficult. Remember, we eliminated our thumb during our hand functioning investigation. So any of those tasks, such as picking up a utensil, were a bit more challenging. Here's one last thought for you. Which do you feel is more important when designing your prosthetic hand? The bones? The muscles? Or do they need to work together? As you design your hand, muscles and bones just might have to work in coordination with one another. How are you going to make that happen? Jot, some, jot down some ideas under Apply Information on your slip. That's it for now.